Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's problem I got from one of my subscribers and here's a problem. The genetic map for three genes A, B and C is as uh, follows. A, B 10 map units, B, C 5 map units and A, C is 15 map units. In individual of the genotype and here is the genotype of the individual, the percentage of the gametes expected to be uh, which is going to be dominant for all three alleles is and you have to choose the correct answer. So how we are going to solve this problem? First of all, imagine that this is chromosome and we have three alleles on this chromosome. We have allele A, so here is the allele A, here is uh, allele B, and these two alleles are separated by 10 map units. So B and C, 10 map units. And B, uh, sorry, A and B, and B and C, 5 map, map units. So this is C, and we have 5 map units here. But you may also ask why C uh, here and not, for example, somewhere here. And still we would have five map units. But take a look, uh, we have a hint here. Between uh, A and C we have 15 map units. So this is the only possible position for the allele C. Now between A and C we have 15 map units. And what is a map units? Map units basically just uh, give us information how uh, frequent we have um, crossing over between two uh, chromosomes. So imagine that uh, now let me show the same chromosome uh, but this time I would draw vertically and this time we have two chromosomes and this is going to be two homologous chromosomes but one we got from our father side and another one from our mother side. So take a look uh, here is a genotype and on the left as you see genotype of one chromosome and on the right uh, genotype of the second chromosome. So let's put um, gene A here and gene B here and gene C here. And at the same places on the second chromosome uh, from different uh, parent we would have recessive allele A here, dominant allele B here at the B locus and recessive allele C here. And now imagine that uh, when uh, organism would make gametes uh, crossing over may happen between two uh, homologous chromosomes in many places. For example, it can happen here, it can happen here, 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 and also here, here. So along the, the whole length of the two uh, homologous chromosomes, uh, we can get crossing over so two homologous chromosomes may exchange their arms. Now it is very important to understand that uh, the closer two genes to each other uh, the least probability that they're going to be crossing over. For example between B and C as you see distance is smaller than between gene A and B so probability that crossing over would happen here in between would be less than probability that crossing over would happen between 
gen A and B because here we have a greater distance. And if, for example, gen C would be here on the tip between A and C, we would have even much more probability of crossing over. And imagine if we would move gen C very close to the gen B, maybe not crossing over would happen at all. And uh, gen B and C uh, would be linked together and would be inherited also together. And uh, according to our problem, we are told that, uh, for example, between gen A and B, we have 10 map units distance. And between gen B and C, we have 5 map unit distance. This information tells us that between gen A and B, in 10% of the cases, we would uh, see uh, recombination. We would see uh, crossing over. And between gene B and C, in 5% of the cases, so 5 map units and 10 map units, basically, we also can say 10% and 5%, uh, we would see uh, cases when uh, gametes would be produced, we would see recombination between gene B and C due to crossing over. So, uh, now, again, pay attention that here is a genotype of one chromosome, here is a genotype of the second chromosome. And our question is about what is the probability that uh, this organism would produce gamete of the following genotype. In order for this um, organism to produce this geno genotype, what should happen? First, we should get crossing over between gene A and B. So, what uh, would happen then? We will get, uh, for example, such genotypes and gametes like dominant allele A, then dominant allele B, and recessive C. Another variant of the recombinant gamete would be recessive allele A, recessive allele B, and dominant allele C. In order to get dominant allele A, B, and C, also uh, another crossing over should happen between gene B and C. So, somewhere here. In this case, what's going to happen? Uh, gene A would uh, crossing over happens and we would have gene B. So, let me use blue color. So, this is going to be our recombinant chromosome and as you see this is going to be a sequence of this recombinant chromosome so we would have dominant allele A then crossing over dominant allele B crossing over and dominant allele C let me also circle so dominant allele A dominant allele B and dominant allele C. And also this double crossing going to produce another variant of the uh, gamut where we would find uh, recessive allele A, recessive allele B and recessive allele C. And what is the probability of uh, such an event? As you see, uh, probability of crossing over between gene A and B is 10%. So we need this uh, crossing over, so 10%, or we also can say 1 tenth. We have to multiply by the probability that crossing over would happen between gene B and C, because we need this crossing over. And this is uh, another 5%, or one twins. And now, as you see, uh, we are going to get one over 
to 100, which equal to 0.5%. So this is going to be our answer. 1 to 100 or 0.5% is going to be a probability that in a progeny we would see a genotype that is going to be dominant allele A, dominant allele B and dominant allele C on the same recombinant chromosome. And as you see, this is answer one. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.